Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to the video. This is actually kind of part two uh, in a two-part video series that I've got going on here about uh, improving range uh, using the Radio Master TX16S. In the first video, uh, we took off the factory antenna and uh, put this video aerial systems uh, dual-purpose omnidirectional slash patch antenna on. You can see the results to that video. I will uh, include a link in the description to the playlist so that you can see it. The bottom line is that we saw a 20% increase uh, from the stock antenna to the aftermarket antenna. And um, check out the other video for more information on that. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to fine tune and see if we can increase the distance some more. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the radio. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the quad. Props off, of course, for safety. Now, these guys should not be sitting right next to each other. So, quad is going to go over there and all right, so what I'm going to do is uh, long press on model to get in that menu, and then I'm going to go up, and I want to uh, select low power mode, and then I'm going to go up to frequency fine tune, and I'm going to go ahead and hit that little button right there. All right, so I've got the quad a couple feet away, and as you can see, our RSSI up here, right here, is right around 9900 ish something like that so the way we're going to do this frequency tune is we're going to take this guy and we're going to take him down until rssi goes to zero all right so we're going to write down minus 34 and now we're going to go the other way Looks like our magic number is 61. Lost. Yeah, 61. All right, so now we know now we know what we need to know. I'm going to go ahead and turn the quad off. All right, so at this point, what we need to do is we're going to take our first number, which was uh, minus 34, and we're going to add that to 61 and get 27, and then we're going to divide by 2. We're going to take the average, essentially. And our answer is 13.5. So let's go ahead and take this guy down to, we'll call it 13 because it doesn't have fractions. And now we've taken it down to 13, and we got to make sure that we remember to turn low power mode off. So at this point, we have frequency fine tuned our radio. Let's go back out and uh, do some real world tests. All right, so what I want to do here is hit model and then go up to range and hit range. And now I've got an RSSI reading. All right, I got an RSSI reading. All right, let's get going. All right, you can't see squat, but it's, it's 50, 49, 47, 46. Keep going, 35, 34. Keep going, 33, zero, stop, stop. Okay. Oh, let me make a note of where we are. All right, we got an additional row out of it. We're right there. Last time we were at that blue post and with the old antenna, we were way down there, right there. So we'll come back and we'll talk measurements. All right, so if we take a look at our numbers, our after fine tune number was 51074, and our before fine tune number was 44613. For a difference of 6461, we increased uh, by 64 and a half ish feet. And if we take a look at percent increase, 446.13 and 510.74, we hit calculate, that is a 14.5% increase. 
And of course, if we perform the same calculation in meters, we had an ending of 155 at a beginning of 135. That's 20 meters. And let's look at the percent increase. It's obviously going to be the same. 135, 155 is 14.8. So another 14.8% increase. All right, so if we go all the way back to the beginning and we look at our stock antenna, our stock antenna without a fine tune, and then we look at our aftermarket antenna with a fine tune, overall we've got a 37% increase uh, from the work that we've done in these two videos. Likewise, in the first video, our first number was 113.4 meters, and our last final number was 155 meters. And the number is roughly the same, about a 37% increase. So I think from this we can surmise that we get a pretty good increase uh, when we fine tune. Now it's my understanding that a multi-protocol radio is not going to perform as well as a radio specific to its own receiver. But I think getting in here and doing a fine tune is uh, extremely important and definitely gains us a measurable return. So now we talked about this a lot in the first video, and that is that if we were to take our new measurement of 510, uh, 74, this was done in range mode, so one would believe that at 1 30th the power, we could just take this number and multiply it times 30 and get 15,322. Well, that's a huge number in feet. That represents a number well over 2.5 miles, and it represents a number that's uh, probably, I'm going to guess, uh, four and a quarter kilometers. And we know, we know that we're not going to get that kind of distance out of our uh, 2.4 gig uh, FR Sky RXSR. We're just not getting that kind of distance. All right, so in order to get a realistic expectation of total distance based on what we got in range mode, which was uh, 1 30th of the power, we need to use the inverse square law. And what the inverse square law says is that to double the range, you need four times the power. So we can't just go multiplying 30 times 510. It just doesn't work that way. It's not that easy. So we need to use this inverse square law. So what we need to do is we need to start with our power and it's in it's inverse of the square so what we need to do is we need to take the square of our power which is 30 and multiply that times 30 and we're going to get 900 now it's the inverse of 900 so we're going to 1 over x and we're going to get this number and then we need to multiply this number times 100 to get our percentage and there we are 0 0.11 what we have here with this 0.11 is this tells us that range mode is 11% of total power mode. Yep, 11%. Not what you might think if you did 1 over 30. It's not 3%, it's 0 0.11111. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our two numbers, our 1, which represents full power, and our 0 0.11, which represents uh, range mode, and we're going to perform a calculation. And the calculation we're going to use a calculator to do that. So our initial uh, intensity, that's our full power, is 1. And we just learned that our range mode is 0.11, and our initial distance was 510.74. Wait, we have to do this in meters, uh, 155 meters. And then our final distance is x, and if we calculate that, we get 467. Now, 467 meters makes a heck of a lot more sense than that big, huge number, 4.25-ish or whatever kilometers. That just doesn't make any sense. And if we take our 467 and change and throw it in a meters to feet calculator, we get 1533 in the feet. As opposed to 30 times 510, which we know is completely unrealistic. All right, so that's what it looks like on paper. Let's take a trip back out to our location and uh, see what we get in real life. All right, so here I am driving down the exact same path that I drove uh, prior to doing the fine tune and with the exact same starting spot. And if we take a look at the map, 
we went 1993. So 1993 was our number, and some people might argue that this building might have gotten in the way. I thought so too, so I decided to plant the quad here instead, and ended up going to right here, which was a distance of 2069, or 630 meters. So obviously we did better in real life than we did on paper. Obviously it's not an exact science, but it certainly is more realistic than if we had taken either of our final numbers, uh, 510 in feet and 155 meters, uh, and multiplied those times 30, because that was just, uh, just didn't make any sense to me. So I had a big, huge disclaimer in the first video. I didn't, I forgot to put it in the second video. You know, I don't claim to be an expert at any of this stuff. I'm just figuring all this stuff out as I go along. I put these videos out there for the purpose of the community. Um, we can all help each other out. If you saw something that didn't make any sense or I did something wrong, please nicely comment down below. This is a tough hobby. There are a lot of moving parts. It's not easy and we can all learn from each other. So I hope you got something out of the video. Uh, be sure to check out the first one as well and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications because I have already shot four more videos and I've got ideas for 2,681 more. I will be making a lot more videos in the future. Hope you found this beneficial and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.